Let me ask you a question. Have you ever gone on a cruise? Or more fairly, have you ever wanted to go on a cruise? For many people, it's just one of the best vacations that you could ever go on. You know, depending on the cruise liner you get and how nice that the guests are. And when you think about a cruise ship, you may think about something that can hold hundreds if not thousands of people. And what may surprise you is that there are actually much smaller cruise ships designed for a more compact and intimate experience. As such, you may not have to pay as much at times, and yet you can enjoy everything that a regular cruise adventure has to offer. So with that in mind, here now are the 20 smallest cruise ships in the world. Number 20. The Hebridean Princess Now I know that I said in the intro that some of these smaller cruise ships wouldn't cost as much, but as in all things, there are crafts of smaller size that are meant to be more high class. And that's exactly what I'm starting off with via the Hebridean Princess. First and foremost, this is not exactly a new ship, it's actually rather old comparatively. The Hebridean Princess was born in 1989 and has been ferrying people around cruise style for almost 35 years. That is quite the legacy. Despite it only being able to have about 48 guests on board, it's carted around thousands of people over the years. And it may be small, but it also offers a whole lot, and that brings a whole lot of people to the table. The one thing that the Hebridean Princess loves to do is have a touch of elegance that will take guests back to a bygone era while also making them feel welcome and comfortable. Aesthetics are very important for cruise liners like this, and people seem to dig them. Because of its size, the cruise ship is able to open itself up to people and what they want to do. And by that, I mean there are places where you can find smaller places to relax and read without having to be disturbed by the hustle and bustle of people constantly going by. There's also a lounge that has a fireplace to relax in. Not to mention there are 28 rooms on the ship, meaning that you're going to have a nice space for yourself and not have to worry about your neighbors. When you add in a restaurant and other amenities, you can see why many would call this a luxury cruise liner. So, if you're interested in cruising around places like Scotland, you may want to give this princess a call. Now it's time for the fancy topic. For today's fancy topic, we're having a look at this picture. I want you to tell me what you believe it is. And if you think that this is a person next to a cruise ship that they personally built, well that is indeed what the story attached to the picture states. While it cannot be confirmed that it's actually the case, especially when you look at the scaling of everything and how the ship looks compared to the person, what can be said is something like this could theoretically be possible. After all, all ships have to be built by someone, and as a result, if the person did have the skill and the ability and the parts and the cash to sink into it, well, they theoretically could build their own cruise ship, and it could end up being one that they decide to run as their own miniature cruise liner. So why would someone like this guy do that kind of thing? The easiest answer is that it might have to do with the cost of actually going on a cruise liner for real. Now it's true, everyone can get a deal on a ship if they get the right tickets or they pick the right season, but that can be a whole lot of work, and travel costs to get to the ship can be high. Just imagine that you're able to make your own cruise ship that you can sail around your local river or lake, a smaller adventure, but if you do things the right way, it can be equally as magical. Plus, why go on someone else's ship when you can have your own? Sometimes people just like to take things into their own hands, and that might be what happened here. As always, you can comment down below by using the hashtag fancy topic, and let me know what you think in relation to what I just showed you on the screen. Number 19. Le Ponant. Sometimes the reason that a cruise ship is so small isn't because the kind of voyage that you're going on, but instead, it's the kind of ship that you're on. In the case of this one, it's not a motored boat, but actually a sailing boat. That's right, it's a full-on three-masted sailing boat. It was built back in 1991 and then eventually refurbished in 2022 
so it's very much up to date while also remaining kind of old school. As they note via websites the ship is featured on, the point of this cruise, which can house over 30 people, is to go from port to port like the sailing vessels of old would do. Now, you're encouraged to go outside and feel the wind in your face while experiencing how the waves handle the ship as they sail across it. And when you're motoring through the seas or the ocean, it's an entirely different sensation since it's a different kind of propulsion. This way, you'll get a true naval experience as you go around from place to place. And since there's just enough crew to handle the 30-ish people on board, you'll basically have a person assigned to you to handle all of your needs and get you what you want, whenever you want. Oh, but that's not all. There are also special adventures that you can do outside of the sailing vessel, which includes going out on a kayak that has a glass bottom so that you can see everything that's below you. There's also a nice bathing area, a restaurant that can house every guest at the same time, and so much more. The question remains, do you want an old school kind of sailing experience that will take your breath away while also putting the wind in your sails? And if so, well this one might be the one to check out when the time for a vacation comes. Number 18. The Sea Cloud 2 Not unlike the last ship, the Sea Cloud 2 is a masted vessel for you to enjoy. Well, one thing you're going to notice is that the sails on this ship are so much bigger and they invoke the feeling of massive sailing ships from the days of old. Or if you want to get really fun with it, you could say that it looks kind of like a pirate ship. Along that line of thought, the Sea Cloud 2 is a vessel that can take you to the Caribbean for some adventures, or it can take you to the Mediterranean if that's more your speed. Either way, they're going to have fun stuff for you to do at either location. Because of how small that the ship is, only having a little under 100 guests, along with its 63 crew members, you're going to have access to islands and other ports that larger vessels just could not take you to. And that's only the adventures you'll have off the boat. While you're on the vessel, you'll be treated to things that will make you feel as though you're on a yacht more than anything else. We've come alongside and it's such a treat to see both ships together. There's a private workout center for you to keep in your reps, and a library, a boutique, a bar, and complete with a Lido deck and so much more. Oh, and for when you go to slightly colder spaces, the ship has multiple spots where you can pick up a blanket to warm yourself so that you don't have to change clothes or ignore the scenery that's all around you. So, are you ready to set sail for your adventure? You may want to book this one today. Number 17. The Silver Origin what may surprise you the most about certain cruise ships is that some of them are designed not only for your luxury and pleasure, but to take you to certain locations. For example, when they manufactured the Silver Origin, they made this rather large, in context, cruise ship to take you to the Galapagos Islands and help you to see them up close and personal. For those who don't know, the Galapagos Islands are a place that has some of the most diverse amounts of wildlife that you're ever going to experience. And so going there is a must for a whole lot of people who want to get away and enjoy a vacation in the more natural sense. Case in point, there's numerous kinds of equipment and water sports items that you can use to explore the islands should you go and visit, and once you're there, you can have fun in the waves. The suites that you'll be booked in have amenities that will definitely surprise you. You'll have plenty of space for all of your stuff, an entertainment center for when you want to unwind at night, and you'll have your own personal butler to use during the voyage. That's right, you're wanting to book this place right now, aren't you? Also, depending on the room that you end up getting, you're going to be able to shut the balcony that's right outside your room and ensure that you don't have to look outside if you don't want to. Or if things get a bit choppy, you can prevent your risk of getting seasick. It's the little things that can help to make your voyage so much better. And while it is a 100 meters long vessel, it only hosts 100 guests, the crew, and you'll still get that small ship experience while going around the islands. Number 16. The Emerald Azura If you're looking for a ship to get on for the end of the year or to start planning 2025, you may want to check out the Emerald Azura, as it's one that's prepping to do such cruises in those time frames. Plus, it's the perfect vessel to go on if you desire to head to the Mediterranean Sea or even the Red Sea. While it does look like a big vessel and like the previous entry is over 100 meters in length, that's by design for your own comfort, because it only houses 100 guests, along with the crew, and that means that you'll have plenty of room to fend for yourself and enjoy quiet places on board the ship as you relax and let the sounds of the sea take your worries away. 
When you want to eat, they have multiple places you can dine, including having room service right to your door to deliver the food that you want to have. Because why eat out with other people when you can enjoy it in your room? There's also a cafe and a bar in which you can enjoy drinks, and when you're ready to shed all of those extra pounds, you can go straight to the workout room, you know, after going to the hairdresser and getting your hair done. Number 15. Celebrity Flora the Celebrity Flora is a boat that is of equal size to the ones that I've already shown you, and they boast how they're able to fully immerse you in their adventure to the islands while not having to leave the boat at times. That's right, this is a ship that goes to the Galapagos Islands as well, and that means that you're going to have a personal helper to get you unpacked so that you can get right to the relaxing. You'll have multiple options for dining, which includes having a high-quality chef to make you divine meals, but that's not all. When you're ready to relax, there are plenty of lounges for you to go to. For example, there's the Sunset Lounge where you can enjoy the sky and sun above without a care in the world. Or the Discovery Lounge, where you can look out at the views around you and see all the wonders of the islands from afar. When you add to that the adventures you'll be having on the islands themselves, you get a truly fun adventure that many will have a blast on. So why don't you give it a shot if you have the ability to go? Number 14. The Sea Dream 2 If you have a look at pictures of the Sea Dream 2, you're going to notice quite quickly that it says Yacht Club on it. That's right, this means that it's a yacht that's meant for those who can afford a more high-class adventure, but they don't want to be bothered by a bunch of people. To that end, there are only 112 guests allowed on this, so it's meant to be a mostly private affair while still having a cozy experience with other people. That applies to some of the vibes on the boat as well. For example, while it may be a yacht, they know that you want to relax all the time, and that means that you never need to have formal attire. You just wear whatever you feel is relaxing for you as you walk around. Just leave your Speedo at home. That's rude. Then, as you're going along on your adventure, you are not only going to be in some of the most famous ports in all of the world, but there are also many hidden gems that are only accessible to the Sea Dream 2 thanks to the size of the boat. And with service that's going to make you feel welcome and taken care of at every turn, you'll likely not want to leave when everything else is done. Luxury usually makes you want to stay a while. Number 13. The Sea Cloud Spirit You'll notice that a lot of these ships have a version of water in the title. Now I'm just saying, I know that we're going to be on the water because it's a cruise ship and all, but anyways, the Sea Cloud Spirit is easily one of the more interesting vessels that I've shown you so far for one very basic reason. And no, it's not because it's a sailboat, you've already seen some of those, however, it is the largest sailboat in the world today. Indeed, this vessel gets that record by being 138 meters long, and that allows them to have 136 guests on board. So, if you're looking for a smaller crowd, you may want to try one of the other vessels that don't have this many people. But if you're up for the larger crowd because of the luxury that you'll get in return, well, you might want to give the Sea Cloud Spirit a try. The ship is almost everything that you could ever want in a voyage as you sail around. There are swim decks, bars, libraries, lounge areas, sunbathing areas, and so much more. Everything that you would expect from a luxury cruise ship experience. So when you add all of that up, you end up getting an old school experience with maximum modern luxury. And with only a few extra people around, things could be worse in life. Number 12. Wind Spirit The Wind Spirit is smaller than the last sailing ship, and this one actually has another mast than the Sea Cloud Spirit. You would think that that would make the boat longer, but apparently not. I never said I was a boat maker, you know. Anyway, equally as important, this yacht is much older than many on the list as it was made in 1988 and has been popular ever since. And if you haven't grasped it yet, well, a lot of people love the sailing lifestyle and they don't mind being draped in luxury while they experience that kind of boat riding firsthand. There are multiple packages that you can get to enjoy your experience on the ship, and the vessel takes you to a lot of places in the South Pacific. So, you may end up wanting to give this one a look and see what kind of places that it might take you to if you decide to go on it. Number 11. Le Champlain Now look, I'm not saying that the French are the best when it comes to luxury, but they do know how to make things elegant, 
and their small cruise ship, Le Champlain, is another example of that. The ship may look large, but it's actually meant to be a more intimate experience like many others on the list so far, and it also has multiple places that you can go all throughout. Launched in 2018, the boat is relatively small compared to traditional cruise ships, it accommodates only 184 passengers and 110 crew, but the intimate size also allows for a more personalized and exclusive sailing experience. It measures 131 meters in length and features 92 staterooms and suites, all of which have their own private balconies. The design is both contemporary and chic, with an emphasis on comfort and style. There are a variety of amenities that you can choose from to enhance your experience. The Blue Eye is an underwater lounge providing a unique and immersive experience that allows its guests to observe and listen to marine life through the large portholes and hydrophones. The ship also features an infinity pool, a spa, a fitness center, and all of the great and wonderful other luxuries that you would expect from a ship like this. The ship offers an exciting collection of itineraries to places like Africa, Asia, and Europe, which allows guests to fall in love with the beautiful coral islands of the Seychelles, and you'll be inspired by Indian culture and charmed by the historic cities of the Baltic Sea. Now, why does any of it matter, though? Well, a variety is the spice of life. Many cruises will tend to go to familiar places, so if you have a vessel like the Le Champlain, which can take you to many other spots that you might not have gone to originally, it sounds much, much nicer. Since this is a French vessel, you know that they're going to have all sorts of fine cuisine on that can make your day and night, depending on when you go, and so you'll want to go for the sights, the sounds, the smells, and the company, and you may just have a vacation to remember. Number 10. The World Navigator some might argue that we're walking the line calling these ships cruise ships. I mean, how can you really call a ship a cruise ship if it only houses so many people? And with this one, you have almost 200 guests on board. While you debate that in your mind, I'll tell you about the World Navigator. This is a ship that does state that it's a small cruise experience, and that's meant to give the passengers a classic experience while also going off the beaten path in order to give you things that you wouldn't usually get on a large-scale cruise. They also say they're going to show you casual luxury. I mean, I really have no idea what that means, but let's just roll with it for now. Launched in 2021, this state-of-the-art vessel was designed to provide an intimate and immersive cruising experience, and it also has all of the usual amenities that you would expect out of a luxury cruise liner gourmet cuisine, a spa, a fitness center, observation lounges, and more. Focused more on exploration, its itineraries can span remote and captivating destinations like Antarctica, the Mediterranean, and the Arctic. There's even something that you can do called a Zodiac outing. I don't know whether you're going to be taken off of this planet or look at the stars. It's not exactly made clear. The ship also features a hybrid power management system and its dedication to sustainability and passengers can enjoy their adventures with a minimal ecological footprint. One thing that can be said about this ship is that it does have range. It's a vessel that can take you anywhere from the Antarctic landscapes of the south to the Mediterranean Sea and everywhere else in between. So whether you're warm or cold, this vessel's going to have you covered. Number 9. The Scenic Eclipse 2 have you decided what a small cruise size is yet? Because this next one has the ability to have over 220 guests on board, and that's getting into a lot of people's territory. The Scenic Eclipse 2 is another vessel that has quite a range. Able to go from cold to warm climates with ease, it features cutting-edge gear and abilities that allow it to get through the waters without causing any harm or worries to the passengers on board. And if you're a foodie, this ship has got you covered. Between breakfast, lunch, and dinner, there are eight restaurants that you can choose to eat at, and that doesn't even count the room service that you can have delivered right to your room. Now, it may be a big little cruise ship, but they do make sure that it's stuffed full of all kinds of good things for you to devour. Number 8. The Hanseatic Inspiration in truth, there are a lot of people who feel inspired to go on cruise ships at least once in their lives, so naming a ship the inspiration is definitely on point for those that get that feeling. But here's where things get interesting, because while it does go to more typical locations like the Antarctic and the Caribbean, it's also a riverboat cruise that can take you 
through the Amazon rainforest. That's right, you'll be able to see one of the most lush and biodiverse areas in the world should you desire to do so. And that's enough for a lot of people to pack their bags and go. Just remember to pack your bug spray, you'll be able to thank me later. Even if you want to enjoy the ship setting, there are spas and sun decks, a plethora of other options for luxury and entertainment, just like you would expect from a ship like this. Number 7. The Star Breeze At this point, it feels kind of disingenuous to define some of these boats as being small when they look so big and luxurious. You can look at the Star Breeze for an example of that. I mean, would you come up to that boat and go, yeah, this one's kind of small? I don't think so. It fits over 300 guests. I have a really hard time looking at that as being small. In fact, it actually underwent renovations a few years ago so that it could be lengthened and add even more options to bring in a hundred more people. So even they felt that it could be bigger at the time. And yes, the ship is still small in some ways, but it's also splitting hairs at this point. Most people who go on these kind of ships have money to burn and they want a more high-end luxury experience while not having that many people around, but it still doesn't seem to be all that small. Number 6. The Seaborne Pursuit The Seaborne Pursuit means it when it comes to the pursuit and parts of its name. That's because not only does the ship have a long range, but it also wants its guests to get off the boat and head up close and personal to various locations that they'll be going to. To be more specific about everything, it carries two custom-built submarines, 24 Zodiacs, kayaks, and a 24-person expert expedition team, enabling the guests to engage in up-close wildlife encounters, off-the-beaten-path excursions, and enriching cultural experiences. Now I can appreciate that, because while being on a cruise ship can be fun, it is not the only fun events that are around. You need to get out there and experience everything that the adventure has to offer, and these rides are going to certainly help you do that. Number 5. The MS Fram Now you may think that it's odd that a lot of people would want to go to a place like the Arctic and Antarctic, and even take a cruise ship there, but that's the thing. People want to go to places that are uninhabitable or almost unthinkable to go to, and that's why boats like the MS Fram almost always have business. Why is that the case, though? Well, it is true that the cold north and south poles of our world are frigid places, but they also have sites that you're not going to see in your more traditional cruise locations. You can see wildlife like polar bears, penguins, lion seals, and more outside of a zoo setting. Plus, there are also glaciers and special natural formations that you'll only see by going to places like these. So, the MS Fram might be one to check out if you're up for a more chilly vacation spot. Number 4. The Wind Surf With a name like the Wind Surf, it honestly would have been weird if the cruise ship didn't have sails. Thankfully, it does, and it has the length to have quite a few of them to give you that ultimate sailing adventure. And you remember that wind spirit vessel from before? Well, the Wind Surf is actually its sister ship. Everything about the vessel is meant to be something special and luxurious. Case in point, in your room alone, you're going to find some fresh cut flowers and fruit awaiting you, and that are only some of the luxury items that you're going to discover. When you add that to the luxury design and the eating areas, you're going to understand why they went so big with the vessel and they wanted to have over 300 guests on it at a time. Number 3. The Seaborne Sojourn Would you like to take a guess at how many guests that the Seaborne Sojourn can hold? 450! I mean, when are we going to stop calling these cruise liners small? The vessel prizes itself on its all-inclusive nature, and that means that what you pay for, you're going to get back in spades. They want you to feel the luxury, and that won't be really hard when you walk around the vessel and see everything that you can do on it. If you want to relax, they have a sun terrace for you to go on, and if you want to get your game on, there's shuffleboard and a special golf course even. There are bars and restaurants, and the list just goes on and on. I mean, really, what more could you ask for in a cruise? You know, except for a whole lot less people. <laughs> Number 2. 
The Seven Seas Navigator The Seven Seas Navigator has the capability to hold 500 guests. In my opinion, that doesn't really make it small, that makes it an actual cruise ship. I mean, who puts the labels on these things? All of my rage aside, the Seven Seas Navigator is a vessel that's been around since 1999, and from that point on, it's been hailed as one of the best luxury cruise ships in the entire world. That is no small compliment to pay given everything that I've already shown you. Apparently, its so-called small size is an attractive feature, and it's also apparently the smallest one of its line. Not that I really believe any of that. Still though, the luxury of this craft is so great that it's actually won awards for its grandeur. Number 1. The MV Saga Sapphire I'm going to start out with a different stat for this final boat. How much do you think that it costs to make the MV Saga Sapphire? The answer? About $120 million. That may seem pretty high, and that's probably why they made it to fit about 600 people on board. They need to make their money back somehow, you know. Ironically, despite being a rather luxurious cruise ship, it's had plenty of owners over the years, and I mean that literally, as the ship has been sold to several cruise lines, including ones that I've already talked about in this video today. You're going to be enjoying all of the usual stuff like fine dining and spas and fitness centers and all of that, and the itineraries include Europe and the Mediterranean. Known for its excellent service and friendly atmosphere, the ship primarily caters in over 50 markets, providing a relaxed and enjoyable voyage for discerning travelers who are seeking comfort and quality. Still though, even with a huge pedigree, it's one that many will go to so that they can enjoy the lap of luxury. And so long as it functions, well, who are any of us to argue with any of that? That's all from the world of cruise ships for the day, and the smaller the better in this case. What did you think of these smaller cruise ships, and do you think that you would want to go out and take an adventure on the high seas with them if you got the chance? Perhaps you know of another ship that could fit perfectly on this list, mainly because of its small size. Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments down below. You can check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.